Anthony Shotzi Cuevas Castro, a multi-game world champion, is currently playing for Optic Texas this season. From humble beginnings to becoming a powerhouse in professional gaming, Shotzi's story is about determination, skill, and passion. Here is the incredible journey of Halo and Call of Duty champion Shotzi. At age 5, Shotzi was introduced to video games by his uncle, who played MLG matches on Halo 2 and let him watch in the background. Once his uncle got off, Shotzi was allowed to play and instantly fell in love with gaming. It would not be until years later that Shotzi became familiar with the pro circuit and decided to follow his intense passion for gaming and competition, eventually beginning his competitive Halo journey. Spending countless hours perfecting his craft, he quickly made a name for himself as one of the most promising talents in the game. Shotzi began playing online 2v2s and building a buzz in the community, going against prominent figures like Ninja and Spartan. Initially unable to compete due to the 18-year-old age restriction, Shotzi would not get a real opportunity to compete until Halo 5 in 2015. Shotzi caught the attention of the Halo community with his jaw-dropping performances in online tournaments. His raw talent and unparalleled skill set him apart from his peers, and it wasn't long before pro teams came knocking on his door. With the age restriction lifted, Ant began competing under Inconceivable in January 2017. Then just a month later, he was picked up by Splice and began placing well in events throughout the season. Going into the 2018 season, Shotzi continued to put in the time to become the best player he could, and it would come to pay off at the biggest tournament of the year. Shotzi cemented his status as a top-tier player in the Halo scene, standing shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Stellar, Renegade, and Eco on the Splice roster. Over the course of his dominating four-year pro Halo Halo career, Shotzi earned $210,000 in prize money, snagging wins at five LAN events, including a major victory at the HCS during Halo 5 in 2018. And what do the pros have to say about Shotzi's Halo legacy? Well, when APG, one of the OG pros still grinding it out, was asked about it, here's what he had to say. And uh, Orzi said, was Shotzi really as good as Halo, or Halo as people say he was? He was. He was. Shotzi is a, uh, he's a glitch. He's a glitch and he's like, He's in the league of his own. After that tournament, HCS pulled the plug on supporting Halo events, citing the game's undeniable decline. This left many pro players at a crossroads, wondering which path to take in the competitive gaming world. Shotzi himself toyed with the idea of going pro in Fortnite, riding the wave of its immense popularity at the time. But in the end, he decided to stick to his roots and dive into Call of Duty online tournaments in the fall of 2018. Shotzi shocked the gaming world by announcing his transition from Halo to Call of Duty. People were scratching their heads, questioning his decision to leave behind a game where he had achieved so much success. But for Shotzi, it was all about seizing new opportunities for growth and facing fresh challenges head on. Well, transitioning to professional Call of Duty wasn't a walk in the park for Shotzi. The gameplay mechanics and strategies were worlds apart from what he was used to in Halo, but hey, with his unmatched work ethic and sheer determination, Ant quickly got Got the hang of it. He even crossed paths with a rising SND star in the online Call of Duty scene Illy. In a 2 vs 2 match, they hit it off, became buddies and teamed up in the months that followed. Just before the inaugural year of the Call of Duty League season, slated to kick off in January 2020, Shotzi was making waves in the pro scene, forging countless connections. The process of getting him on a pro team was far from easy, but thankfully for him, Dallas Empire's player Huke was vouching heavily for Shotzi. Huke, a former Halo player himself, knew what Shotzi was capable of. So when the Empire were first constructing their team in late 2019, Huke went to the man in charge, Envy's owner Mike Hastro. When was the moment that you knew I was a player you wanted to invest in? Kyler was really, really wanting to team with you. Yeah, Kyler, you know? yeah. And I, told, I had told Kyler, I was like, look, man, I was like, I'm going to give you the keys, you know? My job is to find the very best players in the world. Period. Leaks okay. and strikes again, dropping the bomb that his buyout supposedly ranged from 150 to 250k. Can you tell us how much they buy you out of your contract for Halo? Uh, I'll give you an estimate. I'm pretty sure it was around like 150 racks, 150,000 to like 250,000. But hold on to your hats, because Dallas Empire's big boss, Hastro, chimed in to set the record straight. He took to the bird, saying it was much more than what is being reported. Definitely the largest investment we have ever made into a rookie player in our 13 years. The whole team was a large investment. No regrets at all. And just like that, Shotzi lands the golden opportunity to team up with Illy, alongside two of Call of Duty's living legends in Krim and Clay, and of course, Hook who keep in mind took a pay cut for Shotzi in order for him to get picked up on the starting roster. 
Shotzi hit the ground running in his debut season, snagging wins left and right in online preseason tournaments. But here's the kicker. The Empire certainly weren't the crowd favorite at the Call of Duty League's launch weekend. They called him Botsy after he flopped in his first two matches. He was a bust, one of the youngest players in the league, and most anticipated might not work out for the championship aspiring Dallas Empire. This is what his haters were wishing for. But you know what? Despite the doubters, Shotzi never lost doubt in himself. He didn't care about being called Botsy. The insults didn't matter to him. Shotzi knew what was coming. To be honest, I was never worried about playing well, Shotzi said. I had nerves in Minnesota, but it wasn't like what people were assuming. That was just a start for me. Empire's great online performances continued throughout the year. The league was strictly online, including the biggest tournament of the year, the 2020 Call of Duty League Championship. Starting the tournament in the winner's semis, the rookie and the Empire made an incredible tournament run, beating Toronto Ultra and Atlanta Atlanta FaZe in two nerve-wracking Game 5s and reached the Grand Finals where they had to beat FaZe once again in a best of seven. And what do you know? They did. They triumphed over Atlanta with a 5-1 win and were crowned the first ever Call of Duty League champions. Moreover, Shotzi won MVP for this event and placed on the Scuff Team of the Year in 2020. With an exceptional rookie season, Call of Duty transitioned from 5v5 back to 4v4 and Clayster was dropped from the squad. Shotzi, now a rising star in the league as a dominant SMG, was going into the Cold War season on a high note. With the Cold War season underway, Shotzi continues to dominate and become more disciplined in his playstyle. The primary difference in Shotzi's gameplay from the other pros is his naturally gifted movement in-game. The Cold War season highlighted his insane movement with clips like this. Everybody repositioning. You got a standoff between Insight and Shotzi. Oh. Shotzi gets the gunfight. The response is there. A couple trades coming through. Vance, he's looking for more. Finds a second. Illy trying to pressure Cabby, but Cabby, oh my god, he finds that kill somehow. Shotzi finds himself two more. 1v1. Nades are there. It seems to be Shotzi's nemesis and Bans versus Shotzi now. Ring around a Rosie. Time. Run. Get the defuse. The best left stick in the league finds the movement to stay alive and jukes him out. Shotzi's year was off to a solid start after placing second during Stage 1 Major, but the team would struggle throughout the season until the final event, the 2021 Call of Duty League Championship. Now on a roster with Illy, Krim, and Vivid, Shotzi placed third place, winning $300,000. After two successful seasons in the COD League, Shotzi refined his skills and was looking for more opportunities to win. At the start of the Vanguard season, the new Optic Texas team started hot, winning their home Major in Texas. It created created a serious buzz in the community about the possibility of Optic winning champs with the rising stars and the king. Working alongside COD veterans like Krim, Clayster, and Skump certainly improved his mindset and game sense, which has benefited him over the years. Shotzi became a better player and teammate with each passing season, and this one was no exception. The rest of the season was filled with top four to six placings, ultimately placing fourth during the 2022 Call of Duty League Championship, earning $160,000. After only three seasons in the league, Shotzi proved his dominance over multiple FPS titles, and he still had no plans of stopping. However, the Modern Warfare 2 season would be different for Shotzi and the entire Optic team. The season was rough from the start. Optic placed 7th during the first Major with the same roster of Skump, Illy, Dashy, and Shotzi. Going into Major 1, the results were the same. The team placed in the top 12, and the following week, Optic Skump decided to retire, leaving Shotzi and Dashy to lead the next generation of Optic. On an individual level, Shotzi's season went incredibly well, and the team was a fan favorite all season with their two newest signings in Hook and Ghosty. The team could not win a major, placing second twice, and finished the 2023 Call of Duty League Championship in the top six. Despite some poor placements during majors and a rough end to the season, Shotzi solidified his name as a superstar SMG and the face of Optic Texas. Modern Warfare 3 was released on November 10th of 2023, marking the start of Shotzi's fifth Pro Call of Duty season, as he gets to compete alongside other stars like Dashi, Kenny, and Pred, with expectations growing daily for the squad. 
Today, Shotzi continues to dominate the Call of Duty scene as a critical member of Optic Texas. Teaming up with some of the best players in the world, he's on a mission to conquer new heights and etch his name in esports history. This is the story of Shotzi, a young prodigy who became a multi-FPS champion and star in esports. How long can he keep going? Can he prove himself once again on the grandest stages? Can he bring home the sought-out champs trophy for the green wall and cement himself as the greatest player in FPS history?